Jimmy, come on. How can you keep playing video games the whole day? Let's go out and play some real games in the garden. Video games are good. They make us quick. I can learn so many things. Oh, really? But when you play real games with real people, they can make you quicker and you can end up learning so many other things. How can real games make us quicker? Um, for example, when you play soccer, you have to take very quick decisions like where to pass the ball, how to dodge, otherwise someone else will take it from you. Yes, you are right. Also, we have to run a lot in real games, which makes us fit. Mm, you are a genius boy. Let's go out. I think we should play lawn tennis today. Wow, I can beat you in lawn tennis. I am a champion. Let me go and get the rackets and the tennis ball. Let's stop. I want to buy cola and we can drink when we are thirsty while playing. No, Jimmy. We should not drink colas. They are not good for our health. They are very harmful. Harmful? But colas are just sweet water. <laughs> Do you know colas have sugar in them which gives us a lot of energy but extra calories? We should use these extra calories, otherwise these calories end up being harmful for our body. How should we use these calories? We should burn these extra calories by doing physical activities like playing games, walking or even exercising. But a little extra sugar, mm, I mean a few extra calories should not do much harm. Look at this table. Some scientists have done a study and they say one can of cola can increase our weight by approximately 15.6 pounds in a year. Oh, one cola can every year can increase our weight by around 7 kg. That is too much. I can become obese. Mm -hmm, yeah, scientists say so. And do you know what happens when we become obese? Yes, our neighbor Mr. Wells is so obese and dad was saying that he has problems with his heart. Yes, and also now he does not take any sugar as he also has a disease called diabetes. Oh, now I know why cola has been banned in our school. There was a lecture in our school and the doctor informed that colas have a lot of salt and a lot of caffeine in them, which is not good for our body. Let me explain this to you. Have you heard about caffeine, which is a mild stimulant? Stimulant? Well, a stimulant is a thing that raises the level of activity in a human body. Oh, that is why I pee more when I drink a cola. What else is there in cola? Caffeine in cola makes you pee all the excess water present in the cola. A lot of salt is also added to colas and sodas. Look at this. When you pee excess water of the cola due to the caffeine effect, the salt is left back in your body. Can you tell what happens to our body if we have a lot of salt in it? I heard in MakeMeGenius.com that if we have more salt in our body, then we will feel more thirsty. Oh, now I know. Whenever I drink cola, I have to go and pee and after that, I feel more thirsty and I end up drinking another can of cola. Hmm, but let me ask you something. Can you taste the salt in the cola? No, it always tastes sweet. You are right. A cola always tastes sweet. That's because a lot of sugar is added to the drink to hide the salt. That is why scientists say that there is excess sugar in colas. So we should not drink colas. But I love colas. 
Oh well, maybe you can have a can or two a month. I think that should not harm you much. I will win. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I am tired. Did you notice while playing we had to make a few quick decisions about where the ball was coming from? Yeah, we have to be quicker than while playing video games. But we have to run a lot and I get tired. By running we burn extra calories and our body gets more healthy. I have a question for you. Do you know how early humans used to get food? Oh, when we humans used to live in forests, we used to hunt for food. We used to run a lot. We were hunters. You are right. We were hunters. We used to run a lot and so we were more healthy. But nowadays we don't run that much. We get tired. Because these days we don't play much. If we play a lot of games, we will get more practice of running and we will not get so tired. Let's practice running some more by playing. Let's go back. I'm feeling hungry. So now you know we can become more healthy by playing real games. We run and burn calories. We learn to make quick decisions also. And by playing soccer, we learn how to play in a team and how to cooperate with each other. You are right. In games like hockey, basketball and volleyball, we have to play in a team. If we don't pass the ball to our teammates, we cannot score well. But we can't play outside every day. What do you do if it's raining or if there's snowfall? Yeah, that is a question to consider. However, there are lots of indoor games too, like table tennis, chess, etc. And sometimes you can play video games too. Yeah, sometimes we can play video games too. But we should play more of the real games if we want to be healthy, wealthy and wise. Wow, there's a pizza shop there. I'm feeling hungry. Let's eat a pizza. Let's eat fruits. Pizzas and burgers are not good for health. Why are pizzas and burgers not good? Let me tell you one fact. Scientists tell that in our country, the average weight of a human being has gone up by about 25 pounds in the last 25 years. Oh, you mean on an average we all weigh about 11 kg more as compared to 25 years back? Mm -hmm, yes, you are right. We are all getting obese. So it means more weight, more diseases? Exactly. Obesity leads to various health problems. But why? Dad tells me that now people get better food. Let me correct you. Dad told us that people are eating more food. But more food does not mean better food. So we are eating more but not better food. Yes, we are eating more fast foods like pizzas, burgers, donuts and canned food. But what is wrong in these kind of foods? There are two things. First, we are eating less fibrous food. Fiber is easy to digest and it gets stored in our body as well. So you are saying pizzas don't have fiber? Yes, very less amount of fiber is present in fast food. Fiber takes a lot of time to cook. So restaurants want to serve the food faster, so very less fiber is added in the food. Yes, and it is difficult to preserve, so they can't put it in cans. Okay, there is no fiber in fast food. That is one reason. Are there any other reasons? Hmm. The second reason is that there is something called HFCS in some of our fast foods. Oh, I read about it once on the label of a candy bar. It's high fructose corn syrup. Is that harmful? Yes, HFCS is harmful. Scientists have done several researches and they tell us that HFCS also leads to obesity. 
But why is it added to food? Oh, HFCS is put to make food sweet. But isn't there sugar for that? HFCS is cheaper than sugar. So companies who want to make a lot of profit quickly put cheaper options in food. So everyone puts HFCS in food? That is bad. That is why Mama says every fast food is junk food. No, many companies have now stopped putting HFCS. However, we should show some diligence and check the labels of food. So we should be careful and eat less of these foods. You are correct. Even small candies and cheese have HFCS. We should eat less of these. I don't want to eat a pizza. Let's eat some fruits instead. I will eat one apple. And I will eat an orange. <laughs> Very good. Let me tell you. Orange, watermelon and many other fruits have lots of fibers which is good for our health. So we should eat watermelon and pizza together. So that way we can get our fiber from the fruit and enjoy the taste of pizza too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this video is based on the information and data provided by Dr. Robert Listing in a talk given for University of California Television. We are just simplifying this data for public understanding. We are not responsible for the veracity of this talk. Please use your own judgment. For more, click on the link given below. Share it with your friends. Let's all be healthy.